Welcome back to another edition of Retro Tech, where we bring you only the finest vintage test gear from days gone by. In the retro spotlight today, oh, a favorite of mine, Wave Tech, one of the premier names in vintage multimeters. Specifically, today we're looking at the Wave Tech 235, a 4,000 count digital multimeter. This one really had a ton of features, not even just for the time, but even by today's standards, this meter was loaded. This was produced way back in 1999. Yes, over 25 years old, definitely retro. Look at that box, giving you a lowdown of everything. Frequency, DC volts, AC volts, temperature, DC amps, AC amps, transistor testing, capacitance, resistance, diode, uh, you name it, it did it. This was a feature packed model for sure. And let's take off that box. I just love it when I get the box with this meter. By the way, this is brand new, a brand new 25 year old meter. Gotta love that. And look, look and look. Inside, still wrapped, we have our test leads, WaveTech manual, and this even talked to your computer via the WaveTech PC utility software. Copyright 1999. Oh, here's that RS-232 dongle that interfaces between the meter and your Windows 95 or Windows 98 PC. Yeah, I'm serious. For temperature, we had our thermal couple here. Fairly decent quality as well. And look at those massive alligator clips they gave. Whoa! And we even have a couple of spare fuses at the bottom. So. WaveTech really, really packed everything they could into that box. They wanted the user to be ready when it came to testing. Even back in the day, we had politics with multimeters. Look at this WaveTech, a trademark of WaveTech Vondel Gultmann, and is used Fluke under transitional license agreement. Fluke is not affiliated with WWG. So yeah, this is one of the WaveTechs before all of the uh, politic uh, being bought out, what have you, by other companies came into play. A genuine good old fashioned wave tech. Love it. Now, the body on this as well, absolutely classic multimeter, at least for me. I think it's just, it just screams multimeter. I love it. I love the look. Even the colors they use, the black, the yellow, the contrast, that selector switch just oh man it's hard to get any better than that even has even has the protector on the lcd you know and i don't want to re remove it it's been there for 25 years so bear with me but i think i'm gonna leave it on <sighs> so that rubberized boot gorgeous big big thick boot with that built-in tilt stand because the meter itself doesn't have a tilt stand. The tilt stand was embedded into the boot. There's our holders for the probes and that WaveTech display proudly on the back of that boot. Gorgeous. On the back of the WaveTech, San Diego, California, USA, Norwich, UK, um, version 2.0 software required. So you needed special software and we had it version 2.01 that shipped with the meter so that's what uh the chipset inside this meter was looking for something else that's hard to put across on camera but this is a heavy meter it is got some bulk to it is not light by any means it it has weight so when you carry it around your wavetech 235 you knew it here was that rs232 connector for the wavetech serial output cable model 235 dmm if you look at the top of the meter we have those two inlets and we're going to match those up here give it a whirl a twirl and there you go that's how you are connecting your meter to your computer of course it wasn't usb 232 serial cable and I really want to test the software on here. I don't have a three and a half floppy, but I've ordered one and I'm going to test the software and I'm going to upload what I find with some 
picks on keepontesting.com so you can check it out. I'm really intrigued to see what this looks like. And that selector switch. Oh, hits the Rangers with authority. What a great feeling selector. You can really dig your fingers in that selector well as well. And it's grooved here, so you have just really good, really good tactile feel. Now, the sound it makes when you hit those different ranges is a little odd, I, I have to admit. But boy, in terms of the actual feeling, oh, what a great selector. Okay. After 25 years, I decided to take off the plastic over that display just for you guys, okay? Look at that backlight on here. Now, they really were hyping this backlight. It has a really nice, cool, easy breezy look to it, doesn't it? Oh, so easy on the eyes. And if you disengage it, still a pretty crisp looking backlight nonetheless uh, with a good looking display nonetheless with or without that uh, backlight. But yeah, that was pretty sweet. Look at those test probes. WaveTech TL35s rated at 1000 volt Cat3 10 amp. That is a very sweet looking test lead. Not even used before, still wrapped up. Let's take off one of the tips. Look at that, oh man. Five dot zero, zero volts is what we wanna see, 4.99. And that is still in spec, 25 years later. Oh, it just hit 5.0 there for a second. And then the resistance department still looking good after a quarter of a century. Right now I have a 10 millifarad, 10,000 microfarad capacitor hooked up. And you can see how slow it is to range. Boy, speed was definitely not an issue, uh, an important one back in the day, but it's getting there. Climbing slowly to that 10 millifarad range. By today's standards, incredibly slow. But it's working. Yeah, it still seems to be happy around the 8.8 .8 millifarad mode, and that is definitely on par with this capacitor. Boy, that took a while, though. Another nice feature, even 25 years ago, they had an audible alarm if you went into the wrong range with your input. Something rather unique too, you had two different ways to test capacitors with the WaveTech 235. Uh, traditionally via the input slots, and now here we have these capacitance slots. Now WaveTech suggested for capacitance readings of four nanofarad to 40 microfarad to use the capacitance slot like I'm doing now. Uh, for larger capacitance values to use the traditional capacitance input. So neat, two different ways to test. Here we've got a one nanofarad capacitor coming in at just over one nanofarad. Three Phillips screws to take off the back of your WaveTech. Lo and behold, classic vintage multimeter goodness. Check it out. Big piezo here at the bottom and look at that they give you a spare 500 milliamp fuse and we have that neat little 9 volt battery holder so just in case your battery decides to leak um damage will be mitigated because of this very nice holder and of course classic shielding we saw it everywhere back in the day shielding was not an afterthought it was definitely an integral part of any multimeter design not only look at that if we move down a bit look at that fuse so if it does bust open big huge fuse here um it's not going to splatter everywhere because you also have this protective uh housing for the fuse so nice attention to detail oh my god what a beautiful piece of electronics engineering. I call it art. It's just art. This unit shipped with not one, not two, but three fuses. Uh, we have our tiny, tiny 0.1 amp, 250 volt fuse. You can see it right down there. The only glass fuse are the bunch, 100 milliamp right down there. 
uh, there we have our standard fuse uh, that was the 500 millimeter and of course the big 15 amp little fuse and just like that big high current fuse the smaller milliamp fuse also had that nice casing on top to protect it added blast protection oddly enough at the top you see this um, foam on top of the main CPU that was actually whoops uh, to protect it from the battery because the battery overlay was right there on top so it's just a little bit of protection uh, for your CPU from the battery housing tin can oscillator and there is our RS232 right at the top just plugs in directly to the main board um, yeah see we had a separate riser board for those input jacks themselves and look at that gorgeous gorgeous soldering oh my goodness of course our little current shunt small but thick and it is uh, very very nicely done a lot of creepage protection as well going on lots of attention to uh, input safety back in the day Man, who doesn't love a wave tech? One of my favorites in the vintage test instrument arena. I really, really love this brand. And one of these days, I hope to have every wave tech ever made. Oh, I'll let you know if that ever happens. Hey, thanks for taking a walk down vintage memory lane. You, me, and the wave tech, 235.